In Florida, residents waiting to learn when they'll be able to return home. It comes after they were forced to vacate their Miami Beach condo building immediately on Thursday night because of structural damage. An engineer discovered a main support beam identified for repair 10 months ago had shifted, that a crack in the beam had expanded, and other structural supports may need repair as well, according to the structural engineering report. Now, the 14-story condo less than two miles away from the site of the Champlain Tower South condo that collapsed, killing 98 people, including a devoted philanthropist, a mother and a grandmother. We're showing you to her, you, her to you now, Judy Spiegel. Family members describing her as an unbelievable person who spent her time volunteering, specifically fundraising and philanthropy for hospitals. Her life cut short in June of 2021 when that beachfront condo collapsed. And now with this latest evacuation, fears again mounting over the safety of buildings in South Miami. Joining us now, Rachel Spiegel, the daughter of Judy. Rachel, thank you so much for being here tonight, and I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. What were your first thoughts when you heard about this latest evacuation? I actually was really happy for everybody that, you know, that lived in the building because I, I only could wish that that would have been the case for my family. Um, you know, my dad was on, on uh, business, on a business trip when the building collapsed and my mom was in the building. And it's been the most terrible, tragic experience. And if we had known and if there was warning, um, you know, it would have saved my mom's life and, and the 97 others. I can only imagine what this experience has been like. And, and looking at these beautiful photos, I'm sure you got this all the time. You look so much like your mom. Oh, um, you. I do want to ask for this latest evacuation. We're hearing engineers discover damage on that beam. And that uh, repair was identified nearly a year ago, uh, months after the other major collapse. How does it make you feel that there is another building at question now and that issues have been identified for months but not fixed? I think that there's going to be a lot of buildings, unfortunately, that that need repair. I think that um, you know ours was obviously the first one, and you know hopefully the only one that um, that will have significant damage. But I think that it's it's really incredible that um, that they're taking, even though it was identified ten months ago. Clearly, there was something very important that happened or very significant that happened. That they made that everybody evacuated or they asked everybody to evacuate so you know i hope that you know from this experience it's brought a lot of awareness and hopefully can save other lives and uh and, and keep people safe yes do you have a message in particular to city officials and property owners of buildings in south miami i don't know if i have a message in particular other than the fact that i think it's so important to to keep our community safe, keep our families safe. And um, and now that we're, we have more awareness of what happens in Surfside at um, 8700 Collins Avenue, we were 8777 Collins Avenue, um, we really need to um, do whatever we can to keep everybody else safe and spread that awareness and take um, very strong action when things aren't right. Yes. Lastly, we've heard stories about how amazing your mother was, the impact that she made on so many. What else would you like people to know about her? Just that, you know, life would, is never is not the same without her. You know, she really was the best person in my life, in my dad's life, in my brother's life, my kids. And, you know, we were really robbed of, you know, of our matriarch and you know, and the best person ever. And, you know, life has been extremely hard the past just over a year. Um, it, it's been terrible, really. So um, if there's anything that can be done to help prevent this, you know, it needs to be done. It, it's really not an option. It should be done. Um, and, you know, I'm a, I know my mom would be proud knowing that, you know, I, I'm advocating to help others from this tragedy. I think she absolutely would be. And, and I really appreciate you coming on the show tonight. Rachel Spiegel, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.